Dr. Seidman. So I see you're pouring a glass of wine there. Do I get to drink that, or are you pranking me now? Well, you could drink it, but then we wouldn't be able to use it for science. So we do need a volunteer, though. Oh, oh right over there. What's your name? Taylor. Let's give Taylor a round of applause. Nice Taylor, I need you to take these tongs. Alrighty. And use those to take this cotton ball and place it into that wine. All right. All right, and let's show everybody what it looks like. Can you describe what you see? It is a completely white cotton ball now. It's completely clean. Didn't absorb a thing. Wow. And that is just a plain old cotton ball, but it's actually been coated in super hydrophobic nanoparticles. We've never heard of those. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently neither is Johnny. <laughs> I'm just nodding along back here as if I know anything. You guys want to see a prank entirely covered in super hydrophobic nanoparticles? Yeah. yeah. All right, take a look at this. We set up our hidden cameras at a chemical lab. These unsuspecting new hires, Darius, Nico, and Dishani, think they've been brought on to test a groundbreaking new product. We are developing a new technology to help different materials become hydrophobic. Saladin's playing the inventor of this stain-free technology. Tamara's playing a lab technician. One of our camera guys, Jordan, is helping document the product test. And Jason's alongside our unsuspecting new hires. This experiment is a smear campaign. We actually here at Base Inc. are developing a new technology to help different materials become hydrophobic. <laughs> hydrophobic means that instead of taking in any form of moisture, it makes it so that it, it's basically a repellent. We haven't had any success so far, but these materials have all been coated in a brand new hydrophobic formula. Really hope it works because the owner of this company put every last time he has into it. And helping me today is Jordan. Jordan will actually be filming all of this. We can put on gloves and goggles. These do stain, so I don't yeah, want you to yes, do yes, any yes, stains yes. on your hands. Dr. Brooks is in the house. <laughs> You're going to be holding this kind of out and away from yourself. Like this? Yep. And we're going to go in three, two, one for one, two, three. That's crazy. What the? Oh, that's dope. Did you, you actually sprayed it? There's nothing yeah, on it. Look at it. That's insane. <laughs> oh my god, it actually worked. We have to try the holy grail. We have to go to the chef jacket. The holy grail. <laughs> These unsuspecting lab workers, Darius, Nico, and Bishani, have been testing a new stain-proof fabric coating. That's crazy. What the? We have to try the holy grail. We have to go to the chef jacket. The holy grail. The holy grail thing. Marinara is a huge issue in the industry. One of the things that you see, if you meet the chef, right, and he walks out in a stained jacket, what are you gonna think? You're gonna automatically- He's not a good cook. He's not a good cook. It's not a clean place, right? So the holy grail for us is definitely chef's jackets. Holy grail right here, all right. If this works, we have to get the owner of the company in here. This has never happened before. Okay, we are gonna do chef's jacket with sample C in three, two, one, four, one, two, three. That's it, it's not even on you. It's all on the floor. That is absolutely incredible. This is fantastic. I'm going to grab the owner. That is wild. Because <laughs> I can feel it on my gloves, yeah, yeah. but I can't feel it here. You guys about to win a Nobel Peace Prize. Save humanity like this. I'm about to make some money, that's for sure. I know that. Right. It's running straight off. It's like, it's not even, it's not even staying on it anyway. This is the owner of the company, Mr. Saladin. Hi, um, he Hi. is everything that I've been sporting on these different materials, it's uh -huh. just been beating up and falling off. I'm, I'm terribly excited about this. I mean, you know, I, I've invested so much into this. I gotta see this for myself. Let's start with our worst case, spicy marinara sauce. Okay, and I'll do the same thing again. I'll count you down. This just means so much to me. You got your goggles on. This is gonna be Chef Jacket, sampled E in three, two, one, or one, two, three. Just wait a minute. Oh. Oh. You didn't was, shake it or anything? It's shake it? I'm like, I'm like, rolled off. It's, it, 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 rolled, it, it rolled it, right it's like, off. It's rolling on. I mean, is this, is this the same thing? It is. Yes. I, I was just wearing that. This is not the result that I was looking for. 
Maybe it's just this formula. You know what we used C last time. Yeah, it worked this, great. This worked last time. So we are going to try that again. And, and put the and picture? We're going to go so with please. this, OK? And three, two, one, four, one. This is not what I asked for. This is not at all what I asked for. It worked, work it all. worked before. It really did. It was like so beautiful. It just would like beat up. It was, it was beating off. off. It's imperative I get some results here today. I'm ruined if this does not work. Um, it, it did work. Uh, Let's try regular marinara sauce. We've got a whole pot of it, and this one's less acidic than the spicy marinara. OK, we're going to go. Um, can you get on your mark? Just okay, right here, I mean, and put on. your goggles on. This is very important to me, please. Come on, something's got to work. Um, I don't know about this. Throw just it. throw it out. Just show me. It's just my turn. You're helping me with this. Oh. Just what? give it to me, man. <laughs> oh. I'm ruined. I think we're going to have to try the chocolate, though, because Jordan was not rolling. I'm so, chef, chef, the, the, the marinara and the chocolate. The marinara didn't work. What makes you think the chocolate will? They, they different both. Different consistency. <laughs> yeah, so different consistency. Let's try one more thing. Let's try the chocolate. OK. Are you ready? Good. Come on, hit me up. OK, and three. Oh, you couldn't even do the countdown. <laughs> Careful. Oh, this right here is terribly upsetting. You went on two. I went on no. Wait, this is not. You threw it too soon. So it, what? The chemicals mess up? You don't throw it too soon? I don't know, but on three it works. I mean, if you want to get him back in here, we could try it again. Obviously, he had his heart set on this. So yeah. is this the first time you brought him in here? Yeah, I mean, all the results were so good. But I think it's really important that, that you know that you're on TV. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bishani, you're on television. <laughs> but don't sit down in the spaghetti sauce, because it is truly staining. <laughs> but if you could stay oh, over wait. there. <laughs> I was very sweet. How emotionally invested they were. That was very, very sweet. And why isn't that used in a, Why don't chefs use that? It that actually is. Like a, it is. Yeah. Never mind. Right. <laughs> it was funny because there's pants that have hydrophobic technology on them. There's tons of napkins, tablecloths, everything at restaurants. And we're like, what if they know? But no one knew. And they were all like, oh, you guys could make millions off of this. Like, Nico is like, total business plan for you guys. We got to sell this. We're going to take we make tons of money. That like, did not cross my mind while watching that. <laughs> all right, so you're probably wondering, why did the technology work on one jacket and not the other? Yeah. The science behind that is extremely complicated, actually. <laughs> I switched the jackets. Right. <laughs> and I went to go grab the company owner some goggles. Are these are goggles you're looking for? Yes. I swapped the hydrophobic jacket I was wearing with an untreated coat. Ta-da! Yeah. <laughs>